Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Uh, I am sorry that it has been a while since the last upload. I was uh, traveling around on vacation for the holidays and then I actually shot this entire thing last week and had the whole thing ready to go. Unfortunately, um, when I played the audio back it sounded a little bit like The Exorcist. So. Um, I'm just re-recording the audio now, so we won't have any music in the background, but fortunately you won't have to hear my lead finger slamming down on the keyboard. Um, what we're seeing right now is uh, I'm adding a new member to the team after our tragic, tragic losses in the last episode where we lost Sansa and Rindin. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. And Rindin... Um, Tragically, as you remember, uh, switched in on our coughing, which self-destructed. He heroically took the blast. That's what we. That's why we switched him, just in case that happened. And what I thought was funny was that, ironically, we'd just caught a Ghastly. And had we had that Ghastly on the team, we could have switched that in and avoided the self-destruct altogether. So I have named the Ghastly Nidner, uh, which is Rindin backwards. As a, as a memory, as a tribute to uh, Rindin. Uh, may you rest in peace. So I'll tell you that uh, the team has grown a little bit restless. Uh, we've been in Lavender Town for a while now. It only seemed appropriate uh, to pay our respects after we lost our strongest allies uh, in in Pokemon Tower. So uh, they, they've grown restless. Uh, Donatello has been just an absolute wreck. You know... Um, Sansa was, of course, his his his, his right hand man, if you will. Um, of course, female, but you know, right hand man, first first partner, um, the the highest level on the team, and you know, and, and well, I mean, what can what can, what should we have done? Done, you know, should should we have switched out on that thrash from the Gyarados? I mean, in retrospect, hindsight being twenty twenty, yes, maybe we should have, but. You know, Sansa, I mean, it was it was her arrogance in the end that took her down. You know, she had she had to fight against against her brother on Peach's team. And then the last time we fought, of course, she she swept the entire team. No problem. And, you know, when you have that kind of personality, you have to you have to you have to see the line between arrogance and confidence and just no, no, no limits. And so, yeah, maybe I should have switched it out. Maybe I should have known that limit. But. You know, um, Sansa had never given me reason to. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a tough call. You know, um, she I I knew she overestimated herself, but I at the same time I I think I began to, and uh, I blame myself. I blame myself. Um, oh, I'm pulling out Radigan right here, so we have someone to cut through to get to the uh, Celadon City Gym today. We'll be taking down, hopefully taking down uh, Erica. And earning our fourth badge. Uh, this gym was, of course, going to be split between Zeta and Sansa, but uh, due to recent events, it's going to be uh, a lot, of, a lot of Zeta. We're going to put a lot of weight on her today to uh, take down all the, a lot of the plant types. And that was, that was the other, way, other thing about Donatello was that he's had this whole situation with the, with the, with the grass types. You know, from that first fight we had with Peaches and the Bulbasaur. You know, he's done all that crazy training to prepare for them, and then, and then we caught uh, when we caught Rindin, he had to sit and watch as this little oddish uh, not only rose through the ranks, but then evolved into a gloom, and then a vile plume before he reached Blastoise. And he, you know, um, and it, we all know Donatello's like lifelong goal to become not just a Blastoise, a Blastoise, but like the strongest Blastoise, and. You know, and then and then you know he he knew that that last step, that evolution into the vile plume, was like was with was my choice. He knew it was like through the leaf stone, so I think that that was hard for him. But um, you know, he was he he's he's a strong leader, and he knew that Rin didn't have a lot to offer to the team. And you know, I, I had to tell him, hey, you know that guy is really creepy, just the, staring in the window, by the way. But you know, I had to tell Donatello. Um, Look, even even as a war turtle, you're going to command more respect than Rindin as a bio plume. You know, everyone looks up to you, and uh, and so and so it remains. But uh, and now we're going into a plant gym, a grass gym. Oh, only real ladies are allowed in here. Pfft, yeah, yeah, that's why I'll be sending out Zeta. That's my real lady, little lady. Oh, uh, look at this Ember. Nonsense. 
Zeta going to have a field day in here. Yeah, so then, so then though, we're going to the grass gym, and, uh, you know, I think if Donatello, who had finally maybe been coming to terms with grass, um, if, so, if, if we lose an ally in here to that type, it's just, it's not going to do a lot of good for us, and he knows this is a challenging spot. So, well, he, he you know, he's going to take the bench today, unless, um, unless, of course, we're, we're in a dire situation where he needs to come in and, like, hopefully, you know, save the entire Nuzlocke. Hopefully we won't run into that, uh... Judging by the way Zeta is rolling through these weakling oddishes, nothing like uh, our fallen companion. Uh, I'm not thinking it's going to be a problem. Oh, Rap. Rap is one of those super freaking annoying moves. Cause, uh, uh, I really, I'm really hoping we don't run into too much of that. I think we're going to heal from the paralysis here. And we are very close to, um, I think we're going to try and get uh, Zeta up to level 31 before we give her the Firestone. Uh, I think it learned, she learns Flame Wheel, I think, at that point. Um, and then and then we can evolve. And that wouldn't that just be the icing to uh, increase Fang Unit Alpha's power to critical mass? We went from Tiny Ekans to Hopeful, Arbok, and Arcanine. I'm, I'm excited about that. If we get there. Uh... Look at this. Look at this. This Bulbasaur. Weakling! No match for Zeta. Uh, no surprise. No surprise either. Oh, and now an Ivysaur. Like that's, like, that's any better. I really think I was going to also consider using uh, Joylet in this gym because uh, Poison is strong against uh, Grass types, except I feel like the Poison type really got the shaft in this game because half the Grass types are also Poison types. Like... Venusaur, Grass Poison. Vileplume, Grass Poison. Victory Bell, Grass Poison. So, well, oh, and then, and then what? Exeggutor is Grass Psychic, so that doesn't help anything. <laughs> and then what? T Tangela. Tangela, I think, is the other Grass type, and that's, uh, that's the pure, the pure Grass. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, they really got the shaft. And then plus they're weak to Psychic types, which are just rampant in this game. Uh, we're gonna have to find something to take down Psychic types, by the way. Before we get to Sabrina, I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Because we don't really have any bugs on the team. I mean, we could get we could get Jag, our Beedrill, out of the box. But, God, can you imagine? Oh, yeah, okay, this is what I did here. Um, I had a couple of rare candies. And so to uh, speed up the process and ensure victory, I've uh, increased Zeta from 29 to 31. And sure enough, here comes Flame Wheel. Oh, oh it's a day we've been waiting for. Just going to, uh, what are we going to nix here? I think Ember, yeah. Poof. And here we go. And not only are we do we have a brand new move, but we have brand new attack stats. Oh, look out. Fang Unit Alpha. Man. They're kind of like the new the new duo, too. You know, we've lost we lost Rindin and Sansa, so now we have Joylet and Zeta. So that's that's a uh, it's kind of our new our new uh, core trio there, them and uh, Donatello. And we we're just going to continue to wipe the floor with everyone in this gym. Gosh, oh, you better not underestimate me. Oh, Ace Trainer, yeah. One hit KO. Can we do it again? One hit KO. Man, look at this. Uh, oh, Arcanine is just ripping through them. That is beautiful. Oh man, that that chick actually had a bunch of uh, more evolved things, so that's a good sign before our big fight with Eric. I think we have one more trainer to go. One more trainer. I guess I'm trying to flirt with this girl or something. I'm not sure exactly what I was doing. Oh hey, we don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. Yeah, well, you're really not going to like me then, because guess what? Zeta! And Flame Wheel, and you're dead. All right, so basically Zeta has marched through this gym unscathed. I think I would feel confident saying that we can take on Erica without much issue, but you never know. I mean, Misty, I mean, we walked up to Misty without any problems, and then she almost took down Donatello, so yeah, that would have been bad. Um, I think I'm just checking to make sure we have enough uh, PP to take her down. Oh, look at Woody in there. I feel bad. We need we need to get him some uh, some money so that we can just buy uh, 
Thunderbolt from the game corner because he is lacking. Well, I, I would really appreciate some electricity. And you could tell with Woody, this is something else, is that he feels like um, you can feel that uh, he he has a lot of energy inside him and he just has no way to release the electricity. And it's like, uh, it, I almost feel bad. It looks like it hurts. You know, he, he very badly wants to release and just doesn't have that outlet. Uh, and we don't we don't learn a damaging thunder attack for a while. Maybe thunder wave early on. I don't know. Well, here we go. Gym battle number four. My Pokemon are all solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you wished to challenge me. I don't know why I thought you would just come in here and challenge everyone else in the gym and then leave. I was sleeping. Oh, Leader Erica would like to battle. Here she comes. Victory bell. Pretty strong one too, level 29, but I'm thinking Zeta, just gonna flame wheel right through that. Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Not one bit. And then, uh, what does she have, Tangela next? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, there it is, the lone grass type. God, I should've put, actually, I should've put it in Joylet for this. Uh, or maybe I shouldn't because flame wheel, death. Why, like why, why don't lead with that, you know? What, if you if if I'm able to take down your level 29 victory bell, what makes you think that I'm not going to be able to take down your level 24 Tangela? Ugh. And here we go though against the vile plume to just to put the icing on it. You know, Erica, this is just poor form. You know you you, you know I just lost my vile plume and now you're you're using it uh, to try and hurt me. Uh, I really that's not good form for a gym leader. I don't think. And I knew I knew she was going to do this. I knew she was going to summon Spore. But I got the burn on her, so I'm sure she's going to super potion or something stupid like that. But we're going to go ahead and go. Yeah, there's the hyper potion. Lovely. We're going to go ahead and flame wheel again. Don't know if that's going to take her down. She'll still get the burn damage. And then let's see what she goes for. Full heal. Worthless unless I get a uh, pair of hacks. But I don't. And we take her down. Victory is ours. We have our fourth gym badge. A small victory in a... Uh, String of recent deaths. We had the Rainbow Badge. I thought it was a weird title to give the Grass Gym the Rainbow Badge, of all things. Like, why not the Petal Badge or something, since they're all girls. I don't know. Flower arranging and stuff. And we get TM19, which I think is Giga Drain? Yeah, Giga Drain. Woo! Man, if only we had a really good grass type to give that to. Oh, well. We must move onward. We must move onward. And we're gonna walk past the creepy guy again, weirdo. And I think it's uh, I think this is uh, that that did not take nearly as long as I thought. So we are going to try and capture this Snorlax. It is going down. It is time to put that poke of flute to use. You know, we will. Uh, this is this is why we went into Pokemon Tower to begin with, so we could move this Snorlax, and we will not have lost our partners in vain. I think Snorlax would be a very good addition uh, to the team. Uh, probably, actually, that might be a good way to handle some of these psychic types and self destruct even. Although we do have um, our ghastly din rin I can't remember how to say it backwards yet. <laughs> I will. I will get there. I don't know why I'm not using the Poke Flute here. I guess I thought I could push him. There we go, Poke Flute, hooray. Okay, so my strategy here is to uh, lead with Joylet and I'm going to try and paralyze it and then uh, I think go for the go for the flinching, I think with Bite. That, that might've been my strategy. Let's see, let's see how it goes down. So we get the Intimidate off, that's good because Snorlax is ridiculously strong, but Joylet is pretty sturdy anyway. Uh, we go for the Glare. I'm nervous about this because I know he has the Chesto uh, Berry, or I know he has Rest. So I know he can just rest this off if he needs to, but I figured this would um, maybe give us a few extra turns. And then what I did is I went for the, the Screech because I remember Snorlax has really high defense and now we're going to try and get some of the uh, flinching going on here. Um, or we'll see what it does more. Surprisingly, the poison thing did more damage, so we went with that after another, uh, another screech, and now we've been yawned, so that stinks. And I think we're gonna try and wait him out here, because, yeah, we're gonna try and wait up. So we get a pretty boring turn there, sleep, but now we're going for the bite. I'm glad we got to get some Joylet action in here. Really good day for Fangun and Alpha fighting against the gym and the Snorlax. 
And then, man, I'm really lucky he hasn't rested yet as well. We're gonna go for another Poison Sting. I think one more will do it. Getting a lot of luck on the Parahax. There we go. Uh, and it's so hard because now he's like in the red, but uh, is it low enough to get the to get the catch? I don't know. I uh, went for it here because I had a feeling it was going to use rest, and then I was going to have to go through all that again. So I thought, what the heck? I'm just going to throw it. And oh my god! First, first one. That almost never happens to me for Snorlax. It's always such a pain to catch. Whew, what 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 a victory right there! We got a brand new, really high level team member. Uh, who's pretty good, and we got the rainbow badge. So yeah, we're gonna nickname him. I was excited about this name. You guys, can't, you probably couldn't see this in the battle, but this Snorlax when I was fighting, I noticed was actually um, it was really skinny as far as Snorlaxes go, which is, you know, um, no, still not saying a whole lot because uh, e even a skinny Snorlax is uh, enormous. But um, I, I thought I would play. Everyone names their Snorlax these. Uh, Fat, fat jokes, but I've, uh, I've, I've, lo I've looked through our comment section and I found, uh, uh, one of you guys is Twig in the box, and so that I thought was a pretty appropriate name, so we're gonna name, uh, our Snorlax Twig! So, welcome to the team, Twig the Skinny Snorlax. Uh, let's, I'm sure it'll be fun to get to know him. But I think that is pretty much gonna do it for this episode. Just gonna do, 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 do. what are we checking on here? Oh, I was seeing if we had the item finder so I could pick up the leftovers there, but I don't yet. But we'll get it. We will get it because leftovers is a super useful move. I'm not sure how many Pokemon we had to have caught. That's another thing with the um, the Nuzlocke is that you can get the verse recorder and the item finder, which are pretty good to have, but you have to have caught a certain number of Pokemon. And you're like limited by what you end up catching and whether or not they like die before they evolve. And stuff so yeah hopefully we've got enough and we can get the item finder soon and give someone leftovers in the meantime we have got a new Snorlax a new badge and a new outlook moving forward uh, thank you for watching as always tune in next time if you have any comments or questions please leave them down in the comments below and I will see you in another life